self-realization is their sole purpose. It's really getting to the core of their being and to see what their ego is and to see what their personality is and to recognize what their spirit is. Because if you get close to that and if you are able to, you know, to be on that helicopter view, to be the observer of when your ego is dominant or when your personality plays up or when, you know, you feel like your soul is speaking to you, if you can work on that to see that play and how that works, that's when you can make very deliberate choices to follow your heart or maybe sometimes let your ego lead. And that's really the core to a lot of people's purpose. Because true fulfillment in life with what you do is the key to, to not only happiness, but also to have a fulfilled and a successful business in life. Um, what I see is so many people that are constantly searching for something better. They're either chasing more clients, they're chasing money, but they don't really know what they're heading for. Because only if you go within, you'll be able to find a key to happiness in business and life. Because sometimes you see people in business that they, you know, they scream out to the world that they say they're extremely successful and they make a lot of money. And believe me, some of these people are extremely unhappy because money just by itself doesn't give you fulfillment and happiness. There must be something deeper down there within you. If you have that gift and you see that gift and you're able to use that in your business, that's what true happiness is all about. And of course, it's, you know, it's nice to have money, to have a good life and to be able to invest in your knowledge and to grow a network. But money alone itself, I see a lot of people in my practice that make a lot of money, but are extremely unhappy because they are missing their fulfillment. Sure that you work on creating a foundation of authenticity. And I can imagine that you question yourself, how do I do that? Well, it starts all off with, it's something that I do with my clients, because what I do is I do besides my speaking, I do, um, one-on-one -on -one coaching, I help my clients to really get to the core of their being. That means, what are your core values? And what are your deepest heartfelt desires? So these are not the things that you want to create by, you know, power of thinking, but something that is really, really deep within. What are your passions and talents? So this is something that you're not only good at, but something that you feel a lot of passion and a lot of fire with it. personal signature is important because it drives the choices you make because if you know who you truly are how you got where you are today if you know what your core values are if you know what your deepest desires are if you know what is your unique added value and your passions and talents that really is your compass that you have in your hand so choices to make are actually quite easy because you have your inner compass and what you can do with every choice that you're confronted with check it with your inner compass and then your heart tells you if it's right or not if it's if it's the choice that you you want to make or not so it's a leading in every step you take in business and career I've been working with this method for so many years right now, also coaching and other coaches in this method. So I know that these results are really stunning. And it is the foundation of your business because you are your business. And it starts with your personal signature. People want to do business with you because of you and not because of just what you sell. I have a message to share and that that message is all about that i would want every single one of us on this earth to be living the life that we're supposed to live and that is by being truly you and to be able to see what is part of your ego and what is part of your spirit because if you live a life true to yourself being relentlessly yourself as the title of my book is all about and do that from your spirit that's how you can contribute and that's how you can add most value with your message to your client and what 
what is your business signature all about? Actually, it is the change you bring about for a client. So for example, your client is, the starting point is A, and he wants or she wants to go to B. That is the transition that you bring your client with. Um, and actually it's the umbrella for everything you do in your business. So for example, in my business, I work with people that are in a situation where they're struggling somehow, they don't really know what they want, they don't really know how to grow their business, or they don't know how to set up their business because they are actually kind of, you know, trying to make heartfelt choices, but they don't really know how to do that. And what they want to is be thriving, having a life where they feel happy and fulfilled, where they have a happy and healthy business, where they don't have to concern about stuff, where they feel self-confident, where they grow in self-awareness, and where they have a life where they feel that inner peace and they have a fulfilled life. And that's actually the umbrella for everything. It's the umbrella for my speaking. It's the umbrella for the book. It's the umbrella for the coaching I do. It's the umbrella for um, the, the trainings or, you know, for this presentation, but it's also the umbrella for every single aspect of what I do in my business. And that gives me so much clarity. And that's something that every entrepreneur should have his or her own business signature. if you really feel that someone is approaching you with a question that um, is really not up your alley and you feel a very strong no, have the power to say no because you serve yourself and you serve the client best by being clear. And at the same time, when you sometimes have doubts and especially in the beginning of your entrepreneurship, working with clients will help you to clarify if this is the ideal client or not so that's what you said sometimes the clarification comes along the way so do not be afraid to see the beginning especially of your entrepreneurship it's you know it's used playground and what you do is that you you work from your strength and then you will find out what clients you love working with most but just make sure if you feel a strong no have the guts to say no, because that's the biggest gift you can give the other and yourself. There are some patterns that you've created in your life where you've gone away from your inner child and where you yeah. are attracting actually the people that you actually don't want to attract. But there's something yeah. that you're doing and once you are able to see and observe and to learn about those you know, patterns that you've created, you can make yeah. a different choice and you can yeah. you know, take, take a distance from that. And then you will see if you surround yourself with the people that have the loving and the wonderful energy that make you be closest to your inner child, you will, you know, your life will change. Mm -hmm.